Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to rank up some champions, and that's my favorite time. I just love ranking up champions. I love watching them get stronger and grow. Um, I love watching my account get stronger and grow. Love it. All right, now some of these uh, rank ups, we got three rank ups for you in this video. Uh, two of them are available as seven stars already, and one of them is a surprise. One that I didn't think I was going to rank up, but I got tired of having this champion at rank one. All right, and we'll talk more about it when we get there. But if you think you can guess, which can be difficult, I got a whole roster, leave a comment below. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. First one, Killmonger. So he is available as a seven star. However, if you're going to use him on defense, you really want him awakened. An unawakened Killmonger is not that difficult to deal with. But an awakened Killmonger, that's a nightmare. I got Killmonger a long time ago and i waited for a long time before i finally duped him naturally and honestly by that time there were already rumors of seven stars coming out we didn't know what um the first initial pool was going to be but that's why we were gonna wait well now that i know I still wanted to take him up because the likelihood of, first of all, I'd have to get the seven star Killmonger, which I have not done. Then I'd have to dupe him. And look at how long it took me to dupe my six star. So I decided to take him up. He is a good champion, even on offense. People don't really uh, use him that much on offense, but he's actually good on offense. Mainly, I'm ranking him up for defense in Battlegrounds. Now, next season, which is season nine, uh, that season is going to be a special season uh, because they're making some major changes to Alliance War right now. Uh, they're going to be taking it down. We are not going to be uh, doing any Alliance War videos for like a month and a half. And what they've done is they've taken the Alliance War rewards and mix them into the battleground rewards so we're going to have to do a lot more battlegrounds just for that season it'll be back to normal otherwise so i'm going to take this guy up and he's probably going to be used in battlegrounds okay that's my primary place to use him so next up is going to be Mangog. Now, by the time you see this video, you have already watched my crystal openings. Spoiler, I got a Mangog in one of them. Seven star. And he doesn't really need to be awakened, but you want him awakened. And so, um, he has some benefits when he's awakened. I took this one up really to use in Battlegrounds, but then I pulled him. I had already taken him up and then got the seven star, which I'm very happy about. But of course, I'm going to use the seven star because he's still good, even unawakened for defense. So, yes, we got this guy up, but honestly... I'm probably not going to use him outside of Arena, which he is fun. That special two of his takes people out. Not too many have survived his special two in the Arena. Not too many. And even if they do survive it, they usually really hurt. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, that was a rank up that um, is going to help me mainly in Arena because I'm going to use my seven star rather than this um, six star rank three. That's just, it is what it is, right? 
Uh, and that brings me to one thing that I'll probably caution you guys just for this. Now, I don't mind taking champs up to rank three, but I would not take any champ to rank four if they are available as a seven star. You might just want to wait. Now, if it's a champion that you just need, that you use all the time, and you know that you're not going to get uh, seven stars um, very frequently, then you might. You might go ahead and invest. But keep in mind that this could happen. You take them up. Um, three is fine, mainly because I'm an arena grinder. Uh, so three is fine. They can also be used in uh, battlegrounds. Four, I would uh, hesitate to take any uh, six star to rank four that's available as a seven star. All right, now this final one was the one that is a surprise. Okay, I did not think I was going to rank this guy up. Guy, yes. And it is Mr. Fantastic. So I know he's a good champion, but I use him for synergy purposes. That's really it. When he came out, I remember doing a video on him. He was, I think, one of the first, if not the first, champion that was designed to be support, not utility, not um, offense, defense. He was designed to be an actual support character. Now, he does have some other utility and everything as well, but he was made to be actual support. And really, the reason that I don't care for him has to do with his animations. I just don't like his animations. Do you know what he reminds me of? You ever go outside of one of those, um, I don't know, restaurants or um, mechanic shops? And I forgot what they're called, but, you know, in the wind, they just start waving and they're doing all kind of crazy things like that. That's what he looked like. And I just don't like it. This is Mr. Fantastic. I was expecting him to have a lot better animation than he does. Now, some people love the animation. I, I think it makes him look silly. Okay? That's just me personally. Uh, and that's really the only reason. I bring them all the time with She-Hulk so that all my science champions can have a chance to put a power sting on you. And I just got tired of him at rank one because he is perfectly usable. You know, he is a great champion. I've seen videos where they've put him up against um, Void, comparing the two damage-wise and everything. So he's definitely a good champion. I just don't like the animation i just don't um but anyway uh that is going to do it guys thank you all for watching the video feel free to hit that like button leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video what do you think about my rank ups what do you think about mr fantastic do you like his animations or do you think they make him look kind of silly um next video is going to be my account tour sorry i'm getting this video out to you late had a lot of things uh, that I needed to do um, today. So it, it took a little bit of time. All right. But uh, tomorrow you'll see the account tour video. All right. So take care and you all have a blessed day.